Hi, I'm David Balkin of Balkin Sewer and Water Main Service, and I wanted to do a little experiment for you folks out there, and for me as well, to see what happens when you want to solder copper if you clean it properly and apply flux and then solder, as opposed to if you don't clean it, do not apply flux, and put the solder on an equally heated pipe. Will it adhere? So we're gonna do this quick little experiment just to see the difference because um, seeing is learning. I'm going to take a little bit of flux. I obviously cleaned a very small section of pipe. The rest of it is right off the rack, dirty, not clean. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little flux right there. A flux is an oxidant. It prepares the copper and allows the copper to the solder to join with the copper. So I'm actually gonna use a bigger head because I don't want it to take forever. So I'm gonna put a three head on there. Let the gas go into the carpet striker. Start it up. Turn on my tank first would be helpful. There you go. It adheres. You could not get that off. Now let's go to a spot that I did not clean off. I did not apply flux. Let's heat this up super really well. And let's see what happens. Now, I want to see what happened, because it clearly adhered really well here, and it did basically, I don't want to burn myself, just mark the pipe, but didn't really take. And if you can see that, it didn't really adhere, as opposed to, that's clearly another story. So if you were actually soldering a joint, I would think if you didn't clean it and flux it properly, you're not gonna have a watertight joint. But I'm actually surprised that it even adhered at all. It really just marked the copper. It didn't really adhere. Um, that was from my learning experience and hopefully you got something out of it out there. Thanks.